Welcome to today's episode of the Arena Sports Show with me, your host, Helga Schutz. Well, today, rugby takes centre stage with the Namibian Club Rugby Leagues having kicked off over the weekend. We also take a look at football, there's netball news and the latest on the Africa Games. But starting off with rugby, and there were some big upsets in the opening round of the Men's Premier League on Saturday. The defending champions, United, lost 28-26 to Grootfontein, while last year's runners-up, Wanderers, lost 30-17 to UNAM. Well, after that game, I spoke to UNAM captain Alcino Isaacs. Let's take a look. Uh, it was an amazing game. Um, in the beginning, I must say, you could see the rest of all the players, both sides on the field. Uh, and as you can see, the weather pulled through for us. It was a beautiful day of footy. And I'm glad the boys have pushed through the full 80. Right, a very good start for you. So, what are your ambitions for this season? Uh, well, we have a personal goal as a team. Um, I don't think we want to elaborate on that. But I think it is to grow more players, especially young players coming through. We have a lot of experience, bring a lot of the youth into our team so we can proceed into the uh, foreseeable future to keep UNAM at a constant winning ratio of, and a constant high. Right, and beating Wanderers, what does it mean to you? Oh, uh, you know, <laughs> Wanderers are always the, the iron houses of the league and it's always a wonderful feeling once you get them out of the way and you know, hopefully the season will just be a bit easier, but never the case. We're still on rugby and the Women's Rugby League also kicked off on Saturday with the defending champions UNAM beating Wanderers 50 points to 5 while United beat Grootfontein 65-5. Well, after the UNAM match, I spoke to their loose forward in Dapanda Kakundi as well as Wanderers coach Janice Birkus. So let's hear what they had to say. The game was tough, but as UNAM always fight through any battle, like we fight together, we pushed, first one in the box, we still have more to let like, go, so we can't celebrate now, we still have more to so yeah. a great game. But winning by 50 points to 5, that's a big victory, did you think you'd win so easily? <sighs> it wasn't easy, to be honest, <laughs> it wasn't easy at all, but then it's just all about reading the game finding games and it was a tough fight, it was a big game all, yeah, all things my teammate, I mean, yeah, it was a tough fight. Yeah. And how do you find rugby, the sport, are you enjoying it? I love rugby, it helped me through life, like let me say personally, I was a weak person, like I never stood up for myself, but because of rugby now I can stand up and look somebody in the eyes and tell them that I will <laughs> I will not fear you. Like it's, it's, it is a, a, a great game. I would advise the ladies out there that <laughs> injuries are permanent. I mean, are temporary, not permanent. If you wanna join rugby, do it now while it's still early. Yeah, now um, it's always tough coming to UNAM. I think I can say the same going to Wanderers. But it was a good game for us to start off the season. Yeah, the scoreboard says something else, but we took out of a lot of positives because we had a lot of new goals coming into like 50% of our team is actually new players starting this year. So it was, this was a good setting for them to get into what 15 is about. So congratulations to UNAM. They are the defending champions. They're looking good this season. So we all just have to step up. Right, and you think you can improve a bit on this performance? Definitely. My girls are eager and they're hungry. So from here on out, everybody got their first game or their first cap behind them. So from here on out, they can just grow and build. So that's what we're working towards this season. Right, let's move on to football. And the Deb Marie Namibia Premiership is in full swing with Komas Nampol collecting maximum points over the weekend. On Friday, they beat Oka Karara 3-0 and on Sunday beat Julino 3-2. I spoke to their coach, uh, Fortune Ahab, as well as their exciting striker, that's uh, Rivaldo Prince. So let's hear what they had to say. Uh, what a game, what a game. Uh, these boys played first half proper, but second half we become luxury. We didn't want them to play and we allowed Yulino to come back unnecessary. So these things will cost you in football. Uh, we scored a lucky goal. We, we are lucky. We, today we are lucky. We are lucky to pick up three points because that long ball from the keeper that the keeper touched. Uh, but we sometimes in football, lucky scores, you need to take them. 
We are glad for the three points. We are glad that we pick up three points and maximum six points over the weekend. So last final five games, we will go into it. But I'm not happy with the play that we do. Totally unhappy. Right, as you say, six points for the weekend. So I think you're second on the log now. How are you feeling about that? Uh, it's a moment to be proud of this magnificent, magnificent West. Uh, we, we are working very hard to end uh, somewhere in the top teams. But this is the result that we need. This is the way that we need to play so that we can get results and please uh, our fans. So when we are going into the next stage, we know what to do. So, But we are happy. We are glad. We mu you must not be greedy. You must never be greedy. Yeah, but we are happy to be second. And, and looking at it, how are you going to maintain the mental health of these players for the remaining games? Uh, these guys have been uh, They know what to do. We said the final five games we will go for it. We will go back and work on the mental aspects because Stars is the top team. We don't mind about them. We are only minding our, ourselves. And if we do the right thing, the right things will fall into the right place at the right time. First, first of all, I want to thank our my card for this victory. You know, it wasn't easy. You know how to learn this. They like coming back. It's a strong team. They like playing from the back and launching the ball. So we slept on it, but we got the three points. And off the field training has been helping me a lot. And, and, and what type of off the field training have you been doing that has helped you? Going to the gym, you know, working on my weaknesses. And looking at it, you are currently on 12 goals and the top goal scorer is 15. Yeah. What, what target have you set for yourself with the remaining now five games in the league? To be honest, to be honest, beginning of the season, uh, my aim was just 10 goals, but I managed it. So, you know, anything is possible, I can chase him. Three more goals to go, I can do that. And does that put uh, too much pressure on you or does that motivate you to work harder? It motivates me to work more harder because I know I can do it. And Rivaldo, do you think you can make the Brave Warriors sometime? Yeah, you know, I'm just working hard for that. You know, when the call comes, I will honor it. Well, good luck to Rivaldo. And the title race is certainly hotting up with lock leaders African Stars losing on Sunday to uh, Mighty Gunners. And as we heard, Komas Nampol getting maximum points, while FC Ongos are also in the race. So let's take a look at all the weekend's results and the latest lock standing. Moving on to women's football and FC Ongos are still comfortably ahead on the FNB Women's Super League log with Beauties now 6 points behind in 2nd place and Komas Nampol 3rd 10 points behind. Let's take a look at all the weekend's results and the latest log standing.
Right, let's move on to the Africa Games in Ghana. And Namibia is now 17th overall with a total of seven medals, consisting of one gold, three silver and three bronze. Let's take a look at the latest medal standings. Let's move on to netball and Namibia recorded their first win at the Netball World Youth Cup Africa qualifier in Pretoria today when they beat Tanzania 55-17. Yesterday they lost their opening match 43-28 to Malawi. Well let's take a look at what the coach uh, Fernand Masambani had to say after the first two matches. Good morning Namibia, this is coach Bobsy speaking. But yesterday, honestly, we did not do well. As a whole team, we did not do well. There was a bit of hiccups and everything, but after the game, we talked about it. We solved all the problems. The players, even today, they follow the instructions and everyone was happy. But now that is behind us, we we'll focus for, for tomorrow's game against Zimbabwe. I hope. We pray that we will do well and the players are okay they are motivated and what else can we say let's wait for tomorrow and we hope a good result thank you and good luck to namibia for the rest of the tournament and with that we come to the end of today's show i hope you enjoyed it as usual i leave you with some of the weekend's action photos from me it's goodbye